so um, so i'll just uh, converted that line into uh, uh, um, uh, so, uh, line into you can think of say like splitted based on a comma so i get array of these fields array of these values okay i'm interested on uh, the uh, salary and department so i can just access using the uh, index so example uh, uh, i'll just think um, department name equal to uh, if this array name is uh, words okay so words of uh, 0 1 2 the index start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 so 3 will be your uh, department uh, name and the salary will be fourth position okay and then uh, you need to actually the output of your map also key value pair i told you so how do you write your output there is an object called context mm -hmm. you can use this dot right of again the key value pair key value pairs are here department is a key and value is a salary okay so so based on what uh, functionality you are going to achieve the output of the key value as a output of your map method key value key value pair will vary but input is always your uh, line as a value and a key as a uh, offset or line number so every line think of as a every line the map task will get called and it will it will actually uh, keep uh, emitting the key value pairs like de department name and salary so now it will once the mapper one is completed you will see a key value pairs of eight key value pairs like you have because eight lines in this mapper uh, so after map to, mapper two if you just compare with uh, this diagram all this okay so once this mapper is completed you are going to get eight key value pairs your key is a department name and the value is a salary and uh, when this mapper is completed the the output of mapper will be again eight key value pairs uh, and this will have some uh, how many remaining four key value pairs so now this is map phase is completed because it it ran this task which we it ran what the code we written here and we written the key value pairs. Now during shuffle and short phase, it's a hidden phase by it hidden phase. We don't see this phase or we don't write any code for this shuffle and short. What it does is see basically we it is going to group by okay sort by key sort by uh, key and it will group sort by key and uh, group group by key okay so what it does is going to do uh, uh, sort and uh, uh, group the keys so what is going to get the end of your uh, shuffle phase this is internal uh, internally happening so it is going to return you what is the grouped keys so i have sorry grouped uh, grouped based on key right our keys are department id so we have totally three department so the key value pairs which is ended from three mapper will come to this stage and all your uh, keys are grouped so you will see the result as um key is our a uh, which is a department one of the department and your values will be everything here key value pass right now our key is a, a department and value will be all the employee ids whichever uh, sorry all the salaries uh, which are uh, coming from the uh, department a say like 400 for 40000 there is a 40000 for uh, employee who, who comes in from department here 12,000 is there 6,000 all this value will be grouped and sent as a 
values say some i think 6 uh, 60000 also there and we saw one was 12000 etc so you going to have all this so similarly it is going to group the other department as well because key is right we have key we have three com, uh, three uh, key three department as a key department b and department c and this think of as this is this uh, happens in the mapper space no this this mapper is a map this is the mapper phase this is the mapper phase right and uh, this is happening on the shuffle and sort phase and this will be re input to your reduce phase okay so in between mapper and uh, reduce phase this will happen uh, this will happen now i have a sim like uh, how i have a map okay. a mapper for a program i also have a reducer program which has a reduce method Here also again everything expressed as a key value here. Now just check what is the key here. Key is the basically your uh, department, right? And that value here it is a i trouble, means it's a collection. It's not like that. yeah, it's a collection. Now uh, the reduce method, I told you. The map uh, mapper. See, you will have a, we have a three blocks, so three mapper program will run. But the map task will be run for every lines in your blocks. So, twenty times. So, in mapper one, eight times the map would have called, and the mapper two eight times, and the mapper three four times would have called map method. So, it generated twenty key value pairs. The twenty key value pairs group. Now you got three key value pairs because why the distinct keys are three, right? So we got three key value pairs. Key is the department name and values are all uh, salaries associated to that department. Now the reduce program will run. When you run a reducer program, uh, for example, uh, you can decide the number of reducer program, uh, number of reduce tasks you want to run. Uh, means the reduce the number of reducer you want to run that is we can decide for simplicity sake i'll configure it as running one so all this 20 key value pairs shuffled and sorted you end after that uh, you got a distinct group is three so this th three key value pairs will come to the reduce this reducer uh, uh, program reducer okay so uh, and this reduce method will call for every distinct key value pair. How many key value pair we have, uh, which is uh, which is come out of shuffle and short? Three. So three times this reduce function will call. So what I can do inside the reduce function, I can take the key and uh, yeah, key is my department, uh, um, say example A. And I'll just sum off, do the sum of this value, whatever I got. It's basically a, a collection, um, uh, or you can think of as an array. You just do the sum of all the elements, right? So then I will write this also again key value pair. Context dot uh, write of uh, this will, a will be my one key, and the sum will be say example sum. Um, uh, this is in 50 say some uh, I'll put this value so 5 lakhs okay. example okay. summing up all the salaries coming 5 lakhs and similarly this will call for uh, next key value per department B and I will get the uh, rest so finally you will get a result of this as a key value pair so So if you understand this, the entire distributed system works in this way, at least the uh, MapReduce and uh, Spark works, works this way only. Everything is key value pair. So this is, will be your output. In this mapper logic, whatever you showed, we have as a, as a PySpark developer, we have to write that? Uh, as, as yeah, you, you can actually 
see so this all i am talking about uh, map produce uh, spark will go uh, later once we understand these concepts because these okay. concepts are going to be used on our spark as well what i am talking about more of map produce the the spark is it took the inspiration uh, some of the concepts from the map produce it will work that same way okay so to understand answer a question code what code you write on map uh, map method and reduce method the code which i written the pseudo code which i written here you can write it in okay. java if you are a java program uh, if you are a python programmer you can write it in python as well okay so uh, high level uh, uh, just uh, uh, just ignore this value so basically uh, you will have a input uh, uh, so the blocks will be you have a three blocks here okay so okay i'll just uh, uh, tell you about what is input split input split is a basically a logical uh, boundary is it same as block only but uh, the block can have a hard splitting of your uh, file right because it's based on the size okay so okay. The, the block uh, uh, the block can actually break your file uh, into based on size so there might be a chance of uh, the uh, part of your lines uh, go into the next block also right so when you when you split with equal size there is a possibility of uh, off off record uh, being in the first block and off record being in the second block that's a, that's possibility is there no because you are splitting with the size so yeah, yeah. so there is a new a new uh, terminology or new concept in map produce called input split which what it does is it actually look for the uh, the it, it actually has the logical uh, boundary so example if the first block as uh, 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 half of the record it goes and remaining it looks for the remaining half of the record from the second block and that full uh, uh, line is given to the mapper one okay so input split is nothing but a logical boundary of your records same block only but if some blocks of some uh, record is in uh, incomplete it goes and gets the remaining uh, that same one line that uh, whatever the record is broken that broken record will be it will go and bring from the other block and it will give you the whole proper records to the mapper that's a concept of input split so you will have how many the number of I mean, uh, by... correct correct framework it's run by framework so yeah. is so almost how many number of blocks you have that many number of inputs also you will have only thing is it just will have the logical boundary of your record so every uh, input split or every block you will have a mapper running and the mapper will get a key value pair and uh, based on logic you want to do you will write a key, uh, key again key value pair as a output of your mapper that key value pair will be sorted and grouped and sent to the reducer you do the aggregate here and uh, after that you all you, the input also to the reducer is a key value pair and you write the uh, do the calculation write the result also key value pair this is the flow you need to understand you are you are as a programmer your job is only writing on this piece of uh, code in the reduce function and this piece of code in sorry a map function and this piece of code in the reduce function and there will be one more uh, 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 place where you write you configure about your job uh, what is your uh, mapper program file what is your reducer program file and where what is your input path and output path that will be one more piece of code where you specify out but about your job information but as a programmer your job is to work on this map function and reduce function the remaining everything is handled by the framework you just have to understand any question this is a very important thing if you understand this uh, i would say entire uh, uh, hadoop is that is the processing unit of uh, hadoop is done so 
everything is more of uh, additional few more uh, uh, concepts and the other stuff it's all all it is in memory in the map 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 and redis process or it will go to disk for that yeah yeah very good question so basically what happens is uh, okay so i will introduce few more concepts to under, uh, to, uh, to answer that question okay so i'll now i'll go in this way okay now i'll just uh, ignore about the nodes other stuff so we have a uh, three blocks we will take them this example so we have how many blocks we have a uh, three blocks block one here block two here and we have block three here Okay, so now uh, we are going. Uh, there is so how many number of blocks you have? That many number of mapper is going to run. Here mapper one. and uh, i am going to use this block for one more thing i'll just uh, mapper two here Mapper three. Okay, so how many number of block you have, or the input split you have? Uh, this also I'll just block or in MapReduce terminologies, people we call it as input split. That is actually internally block only. So input. Yes, when you talk uh, in terms of. Uh, 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 map radius you can call it as we just call it as in we need to call it as input split so you have input split uh, two here you have input split three here okay how many number of input split you have that many number of mapper it is going to launch now this mapper responsibility to process this input split okay so this input split is stored on the disk right as a block right so it is going to do the sequential read it is going to be a disk read it cannot actually take the entire block and store it into the memory and process it it's not going to do that right so the map produce designed in such a way that your file is, the the block is going to uh, going to do the uh, read the record line by line okay so to do to do that there is a, a, a small uh, 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 uh logic or maybe a small uh, uh a process or maybe you can think of as a small piece of code or maybe the uh, concept called record reader okay. or you can think of as a function or whatever you call it there's a module called record reader which is going to uh read your file line by line right record by right line by line so it is going to uh, read the first line okay and then it is going to pass that line to the map so mapper is a kind of a class right this will have map task so it will read the line one and pass it to the map task it's going to spawn the map task okay so how do you put that i will say okay i'll put map task so in map task we have a map method right map method of key value key one key one and again it will call map method key two 
value two. So similarly, so in our example, we uh, we saw first block was having uh, we consider this employee uh, data which has uh, eight key value pairs, so eight lines. So the record reader would read line by line and pass the key value pair and call the map uh, function. Okay, so to answer your question, uh, at a time you, uh, in memory, you will have uh, only one record. Okay, so uh, it will read the, because it's going to read the record by record, the record reader will send uh, that particular line into the uh, as a key value pair to the map task. And just I have one more. So in the record reader, suppose yeah. I am interested in department number and salary. So mm. it contains th thousand uh, fields, right? So I'm not interested in others. Uh, so control I can tell. Uh, actually, a record reader will uh, uh, read the entire line only. Number entire line only okay. but actually there is some but uh, be performance okay there might you, be performance issue right because i am not interested in all the fields yeah uh, there, all yeah the so there is a, actually a record reader we can actually customize uh, probably okay. we might have okay. uh, some option to uh, as as you mentioned yes Literally there there right. there's a possibility to do that because okay. this, this is customizable okay okay i, I have not done it but definitely is a customizable. See, there are uh, there are certain file formats. So now we will get into the different file formats. Whatever we I talked about, it's more of uh, text input file format, right? So where you love mm -hmm. an entire line, uh, like we consider one record is uh, the end of line, right? So basically, so in text input format, how each lines are uh, 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 like delimited. Say end of line is the delimited, just to uh, this is if I would, I would say this is one line. If I found end of line character, then this becomes one line and this is become second line, right? Yeah, yeah. That depends on the file format. So this is the text input format. Similarly, you have other file format like uh, XML you have, then CSV you have, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, CSV. Be, uh, yeah. So those will have different delimiters. So okay. if you want to, uh, there are only certain file formats are supported in the Hadoop, like uh, text input format, some sequence input format is there. Uh, uh, XML file input format is not there. XML is not there. Even JSON, those things are not there. It considers oh. everything as a text input format, or uh, uh, there's another file format called Parquet and uh, ORC and this and that. Say, if you want to uh, modify, or if you want to read your key value pair based on your one requirement you have to go and modify this record reader logic so json i cannot uh, map it and do process and uh, no as it so it json example i will show you one uh, example say where is that where is it people people plus See, uh, all other people are fine right or they might have uh... Yeah, so uh, please, uh, uh, just whenever you have a question, you pose. I don't have a, a problem on discussing. So yeah, no, no, I'm telling other people, right? They might have other work, right? So if they're not. Oh, okay. So probably, yeah, people who want to drop off, we can drop. I, actually, I did not notice that time has uh, yeah, come. It's 10. 10 15. Yeah. Okay. okay, then I'll, I'll drop off. It's getting late. Okay, yeah. So basically, the, the okay. SDFS, the MapReduce, uh, Concept is this one, whatever we discuss. So tomorrow I will explain you the code and we'll run and see uh, different things. That's a concept okay. wise, this is an approach. Okay. Thank you, bye. See you yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. Okay, coming back to this. Um, where is the JSON file? I have some. Because nowadays JSON is, it's, it's pretty in use, right? So, uh, yeah, so. I will go to but high band map reduce both are related or high they, they perform same task, right? High band yeah, so so high uh, so high is actually going to generate a, a map reduce job only. See, oh. I told you uh, this is the uh, 
basically the sql query we write on yeah, rdb must right so i mm-hmm. also the same thing because i was a, a sql uh, uh, interface you express uh, your uh, uh, logic in terms of five query uh, sql queries only the there you call it as hql uh, hql is nothing but i query language which is same as okay. sql it's a subset mm-hmm. of your sql when you express your uh, logic in terms of uh, sql iql it is going to generate uh, is going to parse your uh, sql statement and then uh, uh, it actually uh, generates a job in terms of map and reduce mm-hmm. that is internally taken care by the uh, hive so mm-hmm. i will tell you how it is, does will do that uh, hive we are covering the... right I mean, yes yes I hive we are covering correct okay. no he uh, i think sir to group by multiple yeah. columns yeah this can yeah. be done uh, using a uh, uh, not through uh, uh, so basically you need to form your key based on so if you want me to do uh, uh, same thing say the uh, grouping based on multiple columns so in hive we can do if you want to achieve the same functionality in map reduce what you do is you prepare a key based on that say example um Uh, i want to think of what is there okay but my name and job job is yeah so if you want to do a department uh, with a job a job type wise you just make that as a key so i'll just concatenate uh, take a department uh, a name and a job type just concatenate and send as a key value first because it's going to do the grouping based on the key. Oh. okay okay hmm. that logic we have to write i mean yeah that okay. so so uh, as a programmer you have a uh, flexibility to write uh, uh, in this map with the map method and reduce method and also as you mentioned if you have a specific requirement uh, to handle your file then that has to be uh, done on the um, uh, the, the red, uh, record reader because the record reader is the one who reads your block line by line and supplies your key value pair to the map map uh, method so okay. if you want to do your key value level before the key value comes to the map method if you want to do uh, some uh, adjustment to your key value pair then you will be doing it on the record reader okay. the record reader core code is more of java code uh, i at least i had not seen any uh, whether we can write a code in uh, python record reader it's more of java code and the map reduce the one oh, which, okay. which uh, because this map uh, writing a code in map map uh, uh, okay thanks to and um in the uh, writing a uh, uh, map reduce program in python actually the it was initially it was not supported uh, later they introduced uh, one module called uh, hadoop streaming which actually takes the diff, uh, map reduce program in different uh, written in different programming language it actually uh, translates that into Uh, uh, yeah, map and reduce uh, task and iterants. Okay, okay. So we need to learn Java or only Python is okay? Uh, it's actually everybody is uh, if they want to enter because I would suggest just to learn basic things because okay. it right. just uh, need, it may need for only to understand if there is some exception comes more of Java exception only. right uh, ah yeah, so, yeah because internal framework is java so uh, anyway uh, only for that purpose i will ask somebody to learn about uh, learn about the basic things of java and other than that because people are not using map reduce because it's more of very uh, raw right you, everything you can handle only using key value pairs even though your record is uh, see here this my our uh, our record is a structured record right so basically we have a structured data why should i go and uh, Uh, just handle in terms of key value pairs, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, so uh, to to handle for large data, because to uh, process large data set only, we are coming to map reduce. Uh, so that's the reason they they introduce this uh, component called Hive. People who are uh, coming from database background, they find very difficult to work on this map reduce program. actually a plc code developer oracle yeah oracle developer so for them uh, this hive component is introduced they can express their logic in terms of query the hive okay. uh, sql query 
the IU component will take care of converting that query into MapReduce job and perform the uh, uh, the computation in parallel and give the result. Maybe for complex requirement where high fails, we have to go MapReduce, right? Uh, yeah, so correct. Okay. Mostly it will not be there, but yeah, there, 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 there might be a scenario, yes. Yeah, for, for sure there will be, right? Because yes. everything cannot, cannot be written in SQL, right? Correct, correct. Yes, yes, you are right. Yeah. Only Python is, okay, because I know, I have not exported in Python, I know Python. Okay. Java, so, I don't know. Yeah, so what I will do is probably, uh, uh, if everybody is okay, I can actually uh, cover some parts of basics of uh, uh, Python, that should, because uh, I will actually walk through with the Java code but you may not actually, uh, you may not, you are not going to write anyway the. Uh, oh, then it's good, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I will actually need the Java code. Basically, even some people who are from Java background, they can learn and they can write the MapReduce. But our actually the, for conceptual understanding only, I'm uh, explaining the MapReduce. Uh, MapReduce is now nobody is using the MapReduce. So. But the MapReduce is the base for all the distributed system. If you if you go to the uh, uh, Spark, you know the same key value per concept. You will use it. Then again, uh, how I was uh, used to, uh, to express your uh, logic in terms of SQL query in Spark. Also, you have a Spark SQL where you can go and work on the data frames and the tables, other stuff. But internally, it uses the same key value per concepts only. Okay. We might so abstract some to uh, correct, correct, correct. Okay. So all the new frameworks are abstractions. Internally, everything is the uh, key value yeah, pair yeah. than distributed computing. Okay, okay. Might be if you know, I mean, key value pair. This, this. I mean, instead of abstraction, if you write our own code, might be that would be faster. Because yes. Yes. Code, right? Correct. 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 Okay. That's the reason I'm just starting with MapReduce. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. Okay, then if you have any question, we'll take or else we can wrap up. Thanks a lot, yeah. I got yeah. No problem, no problem. Okay, so, okay, Chandu, if you have any, uh, uh, sorry, Nanda, if you have any question, we can take or we can continue tomorrow. I think he's in mute. Okay. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow, bye. bye. Yeah, bye. Uh, bye, Nanda. Bye.